All right, we're looking at more difficult shaded fraction problems. When you're first learning how to do this, you might see a box that looks like this and one part shaded and you know that that's one fourth. We're gonna go beyond that today. It says, which shows one fifth shaded? So what you're gonna have to do is first count how many shaded pieces there are. One, two, three. So you have three shaded pieces. The bottom number is the total number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three sevenths. Could three sevenths possibly be equal to one fifth? Because we're not necessarily gonna see a fraction that's gonna come out to be one shaded out of five pieces. You're gonna to have to possibly reduce the answer. But three sevenths, you can't divide three and seven by the same number and reduce that or simplify it, so that's not gonna be the answer. How about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven shaded out of eight pieces. Hmm, not gonna be able to reduce that to one fifth. Here we have two shaded out of one, two, three, four, five, six total pieces. Now I can simplify this because both of these numbers are even. So I know I can divide this by two and I can divide that by two. So that comes about to, out to be one third. So you can see this is one piece shaded, two piece shaded, or not shaded, and then another piece there. That's one shaded out of three different sections. So that's, it is one third, but we're looking for one fifth. All right, this next one we have one, two, three, four, four out of five. That's close because we have fifths, but it's four out of five, not one out of five. How about this next one? We've got one, two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two out of ten is two tenths, the same thing as one fifth. Well, both even numbers, I can divide this by two, divide that by two, and I get one fifth. That is the answer right there. But let's take a look at this last one before we finish. One, two, three. That's three out of one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Three out of nine. Can you simplify that? Yes, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by three. Three divided by three is one. Nine divided by three is three. So this fraction is one third as well, but not one fifth.